when usually people are distracted and they say, well, I, I can't stay focused, what they really mean is they're getting a lot of stuff done and but they're not so sure if they are actually doing things that actually produce any results. Does that make a difference? So the key number one to extreme productivity is you need to be absolutely ruthless when it comes to the outcome. What is it you're trying to do? What is it you're trying to create? What's the outcome that you want? Instead of just getting busy, 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 because I believe busyness is also a form of laziness. That is not, just because you're busy, it doesn't mean you're productive. Just because you fill up your calendar with all kinds of stuff to do, it doesn't mean you're producing any results, right? Just because you're splashing in the water, it doesn't mean you're swimming, right? So that's what you wanna do, be absolutely worthless. Don't just ask, okay, what do I need to do, what do I need to do? How can I do this better? Why am I even doing this at all? Is this important? Can I eliminate this? If I don't do this, would it even make a difference? Would people notice? How would this contribute to my life or to my bottom lines of business? When you are very clear and you are ruthless about the outcome, now guess what, you're more productive. And what you notice is, it doesn't matter what is it that you wanna do, whatever result you wanna create, the 80 to 20 rule always applies. Only 20% of what you do contributes to 80% of results. So you constantly want to be thinking about, okay, am I doing the important 20%? Or am I just wasting time with that 80% that actually doesn't matter that much? So time management ultimately is self-management. Time management ultimately is self-management. It's not about managing time, it's about managing ourselves managing our priorities, managing our emotions. Put up your hand, how many of you have a task or something in your business that you know you're supposed to do, but you just, you've been putting it off? Be honest. So, and you know exactly what to do. You know exactly what needs to be done. Our time, you have, we all have the time. It's just we can't get ourselves off our ass and get it done. So it's all time management. It's self-management. Number three is make sure you give yourself a time, a finished time. So whenever you're working on a task, instead of saying, hey, you know what, today I'm gonna work on this particular task and I won't stop until I finish it. It is okay, but I found that that's not a very good idea if you wanna maximize your productivity. It's maximum results in minimum time. I find that you can train yourself to work faster and get stuff done faster. So let's say I'm going to write an article for, uh, for Inc. website. Well, instead of me sitting down and just spending hours and hours and hours on it, I would say, okay, I'm gonna write this article. I'm gonna block an hour. I'm gonna write this article, I'm gonna finish in an hour. You're training your brain to finish things in a certain time, certain frame of time, versus they let it go on and on and on and drag on, and then guess what? You don't finish, and then kind of you procrastinate. Okay, fine, I'll finish tomorrow. Then procrastination kicks in, and then drag on another day, another day, another day, versus you know what? Today I'm gonna get this done. So give it a time frame, give it a deadline, and you could see you could actually get way more done in a day than what most people think. You question your to-do list. Not like, get up in the morning, what do I need to do? How many after this question? What do I need to do today? What do I need to do? I'm saying, why the hell are you even doing it at all? You look at it, it's like, why am I even doing this? And you question, well, maybe actually I don't need to do this. Or it's just an obligation. Maybe it's not that important. Nah, let me cross that out. Or, nah, that's just distraction. No, I don't need to do that. And out of that, you cut it back, maybe all you have to do is this instead of that. Again, not about managing time, managing ourselves. We have to question. Question number one, what is the highest and best use of my time right now? Please repeat after me as loud as you could. What's the question? What is the highest and best use of my time right now? Number two, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Say again. Why am I doing this? Why am I even doing this? Number three, what is the payoff of this activity? What is the payoff? So when I say, okay, I'm going to spend time with my family, what well, the payoff is, I get to spend quality time with my family. I get joy and happiness out of that. Great, awesome. That's the payoff of that activity. I go watch a movie that, that let me escape from the day-to-day -day 
so that I can go into a different world. I recharge my battery. That's the payoff of that activity. I go work out for an hour. You know what? I, I, I become stronger. I get less sick. I am, I am more energetic. That's the payoff of that activity. Many years ago, I have a to-do list. I have a what? To-do list. And it's long. Because I'm this control freak and I'm perfectionist. My, my to-do list at the time was probably five, seven pages, Word document kind of items. And, and it would feel good. And I would have a to-do thing and then cross it out, cross it out. How many of you feel good when you're crossing out items from to-do list? OK, and that's what I had. I was making decent money, probably six figure a year. But also, that's the problem. Then I evolved, then I learned that I don't just want to have my to-do list. I want to have an other people's to-do list. What is it? Other, other people's to-do list. So I would have another people's to-do list and started developing that. And that thing gets thicker and thicker and thicker and thicker. And actually, my to-do list gets shorter and shorter and shorter. Shorter. So every day, now, the way I operate is, if, you actually, if I invite you to my office, I work from home, and you see on my, on my wall, I would have what I call the, the, the big five. Every day I have five big things I must accomplish every day. Big stuff, every day. And I would usually in the morning, I, okay, today I got to call this partner, or I got to set up this, or I got to come up, map out the strategy for that company, or whatever it might be. I got to review, so five things, very simple. Not a ton of stuff. And every day I want to make sure I don't get off work, until I finish these five things. Now what's interesting is sometimes it would take me hours to do these. It would take me a good day to do it. Sometimes it only takes me an hour to finish the whole thing. Now, if, let me ask you a question. If I've got five things on my list, the big five in the morning, and I finish it, I cross it, let's say I get it, I get, I, I, let's say I got it done by 12 noon, noon time. What do I do for the rest of the day? Celebrate good, yes. Everybody say celebrate. celebrate. Yeah, but what else do I do? Plan for tomorrow to do this, which takes about five minutes or so. Well, seriously, what, what, what else did I do? Read. Read, maybe learn, yes. Not, but not the right answer yet. What, what, what do I do with the rest of the time? Self-develop. Self-develop, maybe. <coughs> maybe. Golf? Mm. I don't golf, by the way. <laughs> I don't golf. Help other people. Help other people, but it's too big. It's too big. If you were me, what would you do? Have lunch. Have lunch. <laughs> Relax. All right? Okay, but what would you do? You're done for that day. What would you do? I would continue working. Conti How many of you continue working? Find more stuff to do. Okay, that's the fucking problem. Yes. Not the answer. Not the answer. But that's a that's a habit right now, right? Not the answer. What else? Do you, what do you do? Spend time with family. Spend time with family, maybe, maybe. Sleep. Sleep. <laughs> I sleep a lot already, so that's not quite it. Here's what it is. I would think. Think. Most entrepreneurs, you're not taking enough time to think. Because when you're running like this, can you think? No, you can only, when you get off the hamster wheel, then you think. Yeah. Now with me, I usually think with a, 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 note, a pad like this, right? And then a pen. I just sit there and I think. And it's almost like, I'm, if, you, if you observe, it's almost like I'm like daydreaming a little bit. But I just think. How do you get shit done? I probably get more done in a day than most what most people get done in a month. People ask me all the time, well then, how do you get so much done? Oh, I don't have time then. Well, the question is, it's not that you don't have the time. You and I have the same amount of time as Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, Jack Ma, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. What's the difference? The question you should be asking yourself is, how can I devote my time to something important? How can I devote my time to something that will move me closer to my goals? That's what you want to focus on. Because anything that you do, you have so much task. I have so much to do every single fucking day. But what do you focus on? Ask yourself, is this, move, is this moving me closer to my goals? Is this moving me closer to what I want? Is it going to make me money? Is it going to benefit my family? Is it going to make me richer? Is it going to make me happier? Sometimes I believe laziness or busyness is a form of laziness. People get so busy, they're like, oh, I'm, I'm so fucking busy, I'm doing so many things. But are you producing results? Are you actually producing results? That's the most important thing. That's what I'm talking about. You have to make that choice.